Hi everybody, my name's Andrew and I'm an aerospace engineer and this is Caleb's Kite. Caleb loved his Auntie Flo. Wherever she went, he wanted to go. Today was Sunday, about half past three. The doorbell just rang. Ding dong! But who could it be? The door creaked open. In walked Auntie Flo! Hello, Caleb, she said. Are you ready to go? I thought we could just go down to the park. The weather's so nice. Before it gets dark? Caleb said yes and asked her right there. Can we fly my kite that's under the stairs? Let's bring it, said Flo. But we should be quick. Your tea will be ready just before six. Down at the park, Caleb took out his kite, threw it into the air with all of his might. It swooped and soared, it whooshed and it whizzed. It danced with the birds. Caleb loved it was his. But all of a sudden, the sky went dark. The wind roared and blew through the park. The kite went wild. Caleb pulled the strings tight, but whoomph it went. The end of its flight. The kite was stuck at the top of a tree, a really old oak, as tall as can be. Auntie Flo looked up and said, what a pain. We'd better think fast. It's starting to rain. To get home for tea, they have to be quick. Time to test some ideas. Find just the trick. First up, pull the strings, but there was no luck. Branches wobbled, but the kite was still stuck. He thought he could climb, so ran up beside, but the branches were high and the trunk was so wide. He borrowed a ball to throw up the tree, but it was too small, the kite still not free. Caleb asked, Auntie Flo, what should we do? Flo took a step back to get a good view. She opened her bag as an idea took shape, picked out an umbrella, some string and some tape. We'll build a big kite, make sure that it's strong. I'll need your help, Caleb, to not get it wrong. You gather some twigs, arrange them in squares. I'll strip the umbrella and hope for no tears. The sticks for a frame to make both the wings, the fabric to capture the gusts the wind brings. They drew a design, they measured and cut, they checked the joints and the fabric were stuck. Back at the tree, Auntie Flo said, let's fly. So Caleb helped launch it into the sky. It dived and it creaked and started to race until Auntie Flo had it in the right place. She pulled on one string, it swung to the right. She finally had her target in sight. It rattled and sped as it dived in the tree. It bumped Caleb's kite and hooray, it was free. Caleb said, wow, Auntie Flo, that was great. How did you know just what we had to make? Well, Caleb, sometimes it's just not that clear, but my job's to solve problems. I'm an engineer. In my case, I work on things that can fly, the planes and the kites that soar through the sky. We sketch and we solve, we work in a team, excited to use all the science we've seen. So as they walked home, past the shop and the school, Caleb thought to himself, Auntie Flo is quite cool. They got back for tea, he ate all his stew, he'd left with one kite and come back with two. From that day on, they solved problems together, laughing and making whatever the weather. And every weekend, if there's a good breeze, Caleb's kites dance together, away from the trees.